We have to get security up here. And they better send an army, because EastEnders, like Palestinians, don't go down easy. Right now, two babies are being born in Jerusalem. One to Palestinian parents, the other to Israeli parents. Those babies don't know that they are Palestinian and Israeli. They had no part creating the problems of the world they have been born into, and they have no knowledge of the tragedies that have gone before. They will both bring love into their parents' hearts. Throughout this debate, I want you to remember those two babies. Small, precious, innocent. For there to be a joint future for the next generation, there has to be an acceptance of the tragedies of the past. In 1948, the Palestinian people suffered the tragedy of the Nakba, when the majority of Palestinian people were forcibly displaced from their homes. And there has to be a recognition of that for those two babies to have a future together. That tragedy that the Palestinians suffered cannot be written out of history, it cannot be downplayed, and it must not be ignored. We cannot be silent on this. I want us to send a message to Mr. Trump that cutting the funding to the UNRWA, the humanitarian agency set up by the UN to assist these people in exile, born homeless, born stateless, in refugee camps, will not crush their spirit. It will not lessen their resolve to return home. And I want us to say with one voice that we will not let the tragedies of the Palestinian people go quietly into the night. We will rage. We will rage against the dying of the light. Not because it's the easy thing to do, but because it's the right thing to do. Delegate your time's up, I'm sorry. Thank My you time's not up. I'm speaking for the Palestinian people. I've got a couple more lines and I'm going to say it. And if you want me off this stage, you're going to have to get security up here. And they better send an army, because EastEnders, like Palestinians, don't go down easy. And I'll leave you on this. Keep in mind those two babies. They deserve a better future than the one mapped out for them. I want us to say this to every Palestinian. We have heard you calling from the darkness, and we cannot and we will not ignore you.